Good morning. Captain Carl Burnside here. Welcome to another episode of Thumbs Up Charter Services Behind the Scenes. Today we're going to be repairing the housing on a radar array for one of our boats. And about a year and a half ago, pre-COVID, uh, at the end of the season we were pulling in the showstopper, which the boat we don't have anymore. We sold that this spring. But um, we accidentally kind of came into close proximity of a tree branch. And a little bit more in pro close proximity, let's say we, we whacked the case a good one. And as a result, these retention bolts for the cap of the radar array, I think one or two of these, it fractured the molded uh, plastic on the inside where the screws actually go down and thread into. So we did a temporary repair on it then. I can't exactly remember what I did, but the unit works, none of the electronics or the, uh, the magnetron side of it wasn't hurt, works fine. We plugged it in and, you, and tested it. And we need to get this case repaired because we're gonna put it on the Ambrose. So usually what you would do in a situation like this is replace the housing and that's pretty expensive. The housing itself can run between three and four hundred dollars, and the cap, if you needed it, is like another hundred. So the alternative that we found uh, after doing some research online was that a place called Max Marine Electronics down in Florida came up with a fix for this. And kudos to them. So what it is is a little insert that you put. We have to take the cap off, so a little insert we have to put in where the the tab is broken off and then we can uh, basically thread our bolts back through. So we're going to see how that goes this morning and you'll be here with us, so stay tuned. So the specific model that we have here is a Raymarine R418H, or excuse me, R418HD high definition radar array. and. Max Marine Electronics uh, kit says it works on various uh, Raymarine products. So what you're going to want to do is check your model number and the tag is on the underside. We'll show you that where you can find it. <coughs> tag is, let's see, where are you? Oh, there it is. The tag is right here with all the information you need on it. And you'll just want to make sure on our website, and we found these on eBay under Max Marine Electronics, that, you know, their repair kit will work on your radar array. Second thing you want to know is that these caps, the cap on the radar array, is indexed to the base. There's a hash mark here and there's a hash mark here. The bolts won't line up unless you line these two points up. So keep that in mind, you know, other manufacturers and other radar uh, arrays made by Ray Marine that are older may be different. I don't know, but this particular one does have hash marks here. So we're going to carefully remove these screws all the way around the array cap. like that and we're going to pop the cap off of the base or the housing should come right out for you there we go now what you can see in here don't drop your screws what you can see in here is a whole bunch of electronics your magnetron and all the whirly gigs that uh, spin around this deal right here spins around and all the electronics that go with it the advantage of a high definition radar obviously is clarity uh, it's also the biggest interest I have in it is power usage and uh, this one I want to say compared to an old analog unit uses somewhere around half the wattage which is good so gotta take a minute here and find the one that we messed up so what broke here was a piece of plastic across the front of this 
And then this fell out. We had put back together. And I'm being picky here, but, you know, here's a piece of plastic here on one that didn't break. So what they've made is an insert that goes into here to reinforce this so you can put the fastener back in. And that's exactly what we're going to do because, um, you know, vibration and everything else, even though it's attached, we want to make sure that thing doesn't move around. Okay, so might want to give you, in case you got this problem, the Max Marine part number, which is right there. It's Max Marine Electronics 323316. Again, check your usage on this. Make sure it fits your radar array. But what they'll sell you is a little piece of plastic that they've come up with. I think it's done on a, you know, a printer, a 3D printer. It's got a hole in the middle of it. That hole fits your fastener. You push it up from the bottom and it snaps through with the tangs. Then what they want you to do is come in here on the bottom of the affected location, fastener location, I want you to come in from the underside and slide this in because there's there's reinforcements here and here and this will be like an interference fit against it. So we come up from the bottom and I've also got what you can't see is a crack running right through here too that broke when this broke. And it's going to open that crack up just a little bit but you slide her into place like that it lines up between these two like the rest do so you can get your through bolt through when the lid goes on now it's a nice piece of reinforcement they don't mention putting any glue in there but what I'm going to need to do is actually put a little bit of glue here uh, probably super glue right here and then also I'm going to take this back out and put a little bit of super glue um, let me pull this back out here and show you I'm going to put a little super glue in here you know where it meets up in here to make a solid repair after that put a lid back on and we're done another product I always keep handy super glue ultra gel good stuff compared to like other super glues that are you know liquid and want to go everywhere so what we're gonna do <clears throat> is first put a little dab on here on the leading edge Gonna go up and in like we had talked. Make sure that's firmly seated right where she needs to be, which she is. Perfect. Our crack opened up a little bit. Take our gel, go right along that crack. And what I will do. Give this about a little half hour or so to dry. We'll be back and put the lid back on. It's been about a half hour here. We're gonna get this lid back on. Everything looks like it's dried. And the first thing I gotta do is find this orientation mark. Not sure if you can see it. It's a little hash mark here on the case. It's a little hash mark right there. And that's how we line it up. We've got to make sure that the seal is in place, which it is. Like a rubber neoprene seal. We simply line those two marks up. Drop the unit back on. Always like to start things uh, when especially going back on with a screwdriver, not necessarily a drill. hash marks are lined up here and we're just going to put the screws back down in her and uh, I imagine I don't have a spec on this but I would say not reefed uh, there's the one we repaired working just fine not reefing the screws down but just couldn't snug One more after 
bunch of this. I think we're good to go. Saved us a, at least $400 part for that little piece of plastic. So, Captain Carl Birdside here, Thumbs Up Charter Services. Thank you for joining us today. Visit us at thumbsupcharter.com or on Google. I was about to say on something else, but on Google <laughs> at Thumbs Up Charter Services in Seabling or Harbor Beach, Michigan. As always, we are wild for walleye, and we hope you enjoyed this session that we did here on uh, radome repair, case repair. Take care, folks. Have a great day.